So I've just received my new Samsung Z Flip 4. Now before I get into that whole mess of videos that I usually do with things to do with like say screen protectors, lens protectors, cases, testing things for vlogging and stuff like that. And dare I say, with this particular phone, the fact that it's got a really super duper processor in it and stuff like that, and I will be trying a whole bunch of gaming stuff with it, and let's see what it's like plugged into external monitors, either via DeX or going through via screen mirroring and things of that nature. Before I do that mess of videos, I just thought what I would do first of all is a simple unboxing of the Flip 4. So this video is my simple unboxing for the Flip 4. Okay, so first thing of note is the sound coming from inside the box. Yes, that doesn't sound very good. And that's why I've got all that noise is because the actual flips box isn't even secured inside the main box. What Samsung are thinking about there, I do not know. And so to the box for the Flip 4, and as we can see here, it is one of those really nice Samsung two-tone black affairs. And also Flip is embossed on the front. However, you know, I'm not really that interested in the box myself. So let me just dive into it. Okay, so inside the box there, we've got the phone. Now, let me just put that to one side. I'll get to that in a second. There's nothing else in the bottom half of the box there. Then in the top half of the box, we've got a little package in here. And inside here, we have got a multilingual quick start guide, various multilingual sheets, which are for the warranty information, a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, a SIM eject tool. And of course, we don't get any kind of USB-C charging supplied with the phone. And then to the phone itself, and just before I actually unpeel it all, I've got to say, it actually does feel quite weighty. The thing with these types of phones is when they are closed over, they're obviously going to be a lot smaller than what they are opened out, but I think it's kind of a little bit misleading because these are still quite heavy phones. Anyway, let me just pop this out a bit off here, all this plastic. Okay, so now that I've got that protective plastic wrapping off, I must say that the first obvious thing here <laughs> is that big massive crease down the center of the screen. Now, obviously I knew that that was gonna be like that, although it is a little bit more obvious than what I thought it would be. Now, I've heard some people saying on YouTube that it's a little bit like the notches you get on some Apple devices. You kind of get used to it after a while. Well, you know what? If the notches on the Apple devices were right into the middle of the screen, nobody would be getting used to them. And I think much in the same vein, that crease there is quite possibly something that I'll never be able to live with. <laughs> Although I'm not gonna complain about it because I knew it was going to be there. I just didn't think it would be as obvious as what it is. Anyway, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna like, you know, log into my Google account. So we've got something on the screen here as I start looking around the phone. Okay, now that I'm all kind of logged in and whatnot and I've got stuff on the screen here, I have to say, I'm gonna have to come across as a bit of a hypocrite because that crease in the center of the screen isn't quite as noticeable. Maybe it will be when you've got like solid blocks of color on the screen and stuff like that, which go across the fold. However, I do have to say that even if I were to still have a slight issue with that crease through the middle, that is all going to evaporate because of one thing, and that is, once the phone is all folded up like that, seriously, this is the first time I've had one of these types of phones, and this is absolutely fantastic. And look at this, I've only got small hands, right? And this is well manageable, it is ridiculous. The size of this alone, for me personally, will kind of make up for anything which I may not like about the center of the screen there. Anyway, let me just have a quick look around what's going on with this phone. So looking at the top edge of the phone, and the first thing we're gonna see here is a hole, which is one of the microphones. And also we will start seeing like these bands on the edge as we go around. They're basically just things to take account for the antennas on the inside. 
side of the phone. And on the bottom edge of the phone, we've got a speaker here. We've also got a USB-C port. Then we've got two more holes here. Now, I believe one of these is a microphone and the other one is some form of sensor. But also, as we can see, we get this continuation of these bands here as well. And then looking at the right-hand edge of the phone, what we have got is the volume rocker here. Next to that is a power button, which also doubles up as the fingerprint scanner. And you can also get more functions out of this button within software. Then again, we have got these little bands down the side, which once again are to help with the antennas. And then right in the middle here, we can see the hinge for the folding mechanism. And then on the left hand side of the phone, we have got the SIM tray here. Once again, we have got these bands for the antennas. And again, in the center there, we have got the hinge mechanism for the screen. And so to the rear of the phone, and what I'm gonna do is keep it folded as we can see here. Now this is the top half of the rear. Now for the best part, that is all. Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, which is gonna be one of the strongest glass type materials you're gonna find on any smartphone at the moment. But we have a nice two-tone effect here because where the screen area is here, this is going to have some kind of a tempered glass over the top, so I think the finish looks really nice there, actually. Now, what we've got is a light here, then next to the light, we've got the two cameras on the back. So the lenses here are gonna be a wide and an ultra wide. And then hopefully if I just give this a little touch on the back here, it's gonna wake up the clock and stuff there. Obviously there's a whole bunch of things you can do here, but at the moment that's just showing the time. And then the bottom half of the rear here is all clear. And this is once again, that Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. And just to finish off our run around the phone, this is obviously the front of the phone. I'm only gonna look at the top half here because there's nothing on the bottom half except the screen. And as we can see here, we've got our earpiece at the top and then just below that is our front facing camera. Okay, so that should just about do it then for this unboxing of the Samsung Z Flip 4. Now, if you're into this phone, you definitely wanna keep an eye on my channel because I'm gonna be doing a bunch of things to do with this, such as like screen protectors, how to connect it to various things and do stuff like vlogging on it and things like that. There will also be Amazon links in the description below to the phone and a bunch of peripherals and stuff like that. If you found the video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon to be notified of similar videos in the future. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.